All right, this is version 4.0 of testing with the ADXL 3-axis analog accelerometer and the basic uh, clash analog sensor on interrupt for the lightsaber guts for using the Arduino, uh, I guess that's the Nano, and the WT588D sound module. Um, I got stuck on the the clash sensor, I thought it would be just as easy as it was when I was doing this all with regular analog button sensors, but it just, it, it got, I got a snag, and I, I came, and I realized, and it was like one of those things you realize at midnight, uh, debouncing the sensor was causing the, and I didn't have any debounce code on the sensor, and it was freaking the WT out, um, just causing it to glitch out, um, to stutter, to stop, and uh, it was a disaster, and I, 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 I guess I just ne it never dawned on me to debounce the uh, interrupt routine, the ISR, the interrupt service routine. And then I just was like, you know, let's let's try figuring out how to debounce that. And lo and behold, one Google search, and here is some simple ISR debounce code, and it worked like a charm. And of course, you can adjust the debounce time just like the regular uh, Arduino debounce uh, switch tutorial so let's boot this puppy up you know uh, the LED is the MOSFET the speaker and the Arduino and then the clash sensor clash sensor and the ADXL and you know forgive the brightness maybe I'll try to uh, make this a lot brighter so let's get this going Oh, it's tweaking. There we go. I just, I just, I just had to hit it. And that guy is loose right there, so that there's a little thin wire in there, so I think it's tweaking the ground. But I think maybe if I adjust the debounce code on that, and maybe adjust the sample delay on that, it might synchronize a little bit better. But that's just, you know, straight up bench testing, so... If I yank, if I yank the uh, switch, you know... It, it works more normal, you know. And I'm fairly confident I can set up another range so that different strength swings will trigger different sounds. So a certain range will trigger a high pitch, a more high pitch swing. Another range will trigger a, a, a different switch, a different uh, swing sound. So you can load up different sw swing sounds and just set up your range in the code, and, and uh, I, I believe you can do that. So that'll be my next step followed by synchronized choreograph motions testing the uh, accelerometer for yaws. So if you can rehearse it, you can just move on two axes or one axis and then choreograph different sounds, possibly by doing um, some laser deflection choreographed moves without another button. Um, I'm pretty sure it's possible. You just gotta, you just gotta figure it out. So let's power this thing down and uh, tweak the times and see if I can get this thing to hum a little bit better. So I'd say uh, I'd say it's pretty close to being ready to throw into another lightsaber and then maybe bash it around a bit. <laughs> 